Hi! This instructional video is about finding the area of a circle. Finding the area of a circle, entire circle that is, when you're given not the radius, but instead the portion of that circle and its degrees. See, no radius here, but it's giving you the degree. We're doing radians now. We're using radians and given a portion of that, there's the area of that. So what's the area of the entire thing? So let me demonstrate number one for you. The way you want to do this is as follows. You want to take a number, area of the part divided by area of the whole. And proportionally, that's going to be equal to the degrees of the part divided by the degrees of whole. Does that kind of remind you of anything? Maybe when we talked about percents? Yeah, it's a proportions and ratios concept. Proportions and ratios. So, area of the part. Well, here's the part of the whole thing, and that's 12 centimeters squared. 12 centimeter squared. And the area of the whole? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. We do not know. So we're going to call it x. And that's going to be equal to the degrees of the part. Well, what's given of the part is 45 degrees. So we go 45. Now, we could put a degrees, but it's going to be simplified because top and bottom is the same, so we won't even need it. And the degrees of the whole, well, can you recall from the past anywhere, what is the total number of degrees for the entire circle when you go entire round? Yeah, 360. 360. Now, some will already jump and say, can we simplify this quotient? Because they are divisible by 5, aren't they, at least? You could, but let me just go ahead with the steps so you could see the proper sequence. The way you want to solve for x is to go ahead and cross multiply, starting with the x term. Cross multiply. So what's x times 45? Well, it's just 45x. Then you go the other way. 12 times 360. Let me use a calculator so I don't make a mistake. So 12 times 360. And that equals 4320. 4,000. 320 and it's going to be centimeters squared. Now, how do you solve for the unknown x? Remember algebra, the properties? To solve for the x, you're going to use division property of equality by taking the quotient 45 and dividing it to both sides. So on the left side, the 45 and 45 simplifies to become a, a 1. And so that's 1x, or just simply x. And now whatever we, whatever we get here, the quotient, is going to be the whole thing. Okay? So 4320 divided by the 45, and that equals 96. 96 centimeter squared. So that's the area of the entire circle, of which if you took 45 degrees of it and cut it out, that would be the 12 centimeter square portion. Now, can you do numbers 2 and 3 on your own? Go ahead. This time, we have a circle with a bigger portion. And that portion is 56 millimeters squared. So what is the entire thing given that info? So let's go ahead and use the same proportions and ratios set up over here as a template. So the area of the part? Well, the part is over here, and that's 56. So we go 56 millimeter squared. Area of the whole. Do we know the entire area as a whole? We do not. So we go x. And that's going to equal proportionally to the part degrees. The degrees of part. And that's given as 110. 110 degrees. And that's over the degrees, the entire thing. But once again, the entire circle is 360. 
And let's go ahead and use the cross multiplication method. So start with the x term first. It just makes it easier. x times 110 is 110x. What's 56 times 360? Let's go ahead and use the calculator for that. 56 times 360, and that equals a big number, 2160. And it is millimeter squared. That's the unit measurement. Now to solve for x, we're going to take that coefficient 110 and divide both sides. Division property of equality. So on the left side, 110 and 110, they simplify to a 1, x. And 2160 divided by 110 is, uh-oh, we got some decimal numbers. Usually your math teacher would like students to round the number up to the two decimal places. Two decimal places. Okay? To a hundredth position. So that's two seven. Third number is two. It's not five or greater, so it just stays at seven. So 0.27 millimeter square is the area of the entire circle. Hey, how do you know that if that's the whole thing, then in fact, 110 degrees of that is 560. How would you check that? I'm curious now. Let's see. Let's check to see if in fact 183.27 millimeter square, if we knew what that is, Let's see if, in fact, 110 degrees of that is 56 millimeters squared part. So we go area of the part. Let's say we don't know. So we go x. Do we know the area of the hole? Yeah, it's 183.27 millimeters squared. And that should equal, do we know the degrees in part? Well, yeah, 110. And do we know the degrees of a hole? Yeah, it's always 360. So if we use the same method, are we able to find the fact that 56 is the part, which is 110 degrees? So we go x times 360, so that's 360x. 183.27 times 110, so let's take that same number that's already up here, times 110, cross multiply, and that gives us 2160. Now divide the coefficient 360 to both sides. So 360s simplify, x equals 2160 divided by 360. That's going to equal, holy moly, there it is, 56 millimeter square. So either way works, as long as you know either the part or the other big portion, or the area, I mean, the whole entire thing, you are able to find either or of the element. And then number three. All right, so how did that go? Starting to make sense now? Let's hope that I get what you got, okay? So if out of the entire 360 degrees, we're only occupying 70 degrees, which is only 36 decimeters squares out of the entire thing, then what is the entire thing is the question. So we get area of part, which is 36, decimeter square over the area of the hole, which we do not know, because it's x. And that's to equal to degrees of the part, which is given at 70, over the degrees of the hole, which is understood as 360 degrees. Now we're going to cross multiply with the x term first. So x times 70 is 70x. And 36 times 360, so we go 36 times 360, that's going to be 12,960. 960, and the unit measurement is decimeter square. And now to solve for x, we're going to take that coefficient 70 and divide it to both sides. Division property of equality. So on the left side, 70 and 70, they simplify to a 1. Sometimes we call it canceling which is not correct, but <laughs> you understand. So 12, 960 divided by 70 shows me that the original area total estimated 
to two decimal places, the hundredth place is going to be 185.74. And since this 2 is not 5 or greater, it's going to stay as 1 4. And it's going to be decimeter square. There is your final answer. There you go. Now go get some on your own. <laughs>